Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm looking at an Eagly setup here. Uh, you can see here the electrical discharges between the aluminium electrodes. This is running with air, which has about a relative humidity of 55%. So there's no added hydrogen, so it's just working off the moisture in the air. So you can see the discharges, and those discharges are the Ken Shoulders prescribed to uh, kilovolt discharges that are running between those electrodes um, and we have a diode there and we have something like four volts going in and there's a HV module under there the sort of thing you would have in a taser and uh, what you've got on the left here is a, a series of resistors that take the input energy and produce a thermal temperature on this thermometer and then you have the output energy that goes into a series of resistors here and they are producing the, uh, how should we put this, the... Power measurement. Power measurement, yes. Uh, and They've so, been previously calibrated. Right, yes. DC calibrated. Yeah. And uh, so we have a temperature there. It's up to 25 degrees there. And I think the, the ambient temperature is 18.3 degrees here. And uh, over here, you can see the input uh, is showing about 20 degrees. So 20 and at the moment showing around about 25 accurate power monitors and so on and this is the uh, PSI there ambient absolute pressure okay and uh, so there's a, also a nice thermometer here doing the ambient temperature which I think is what's being picked up by this little device over here yeah, two measurements so that is it so apparently uh, based off these thermometer or this method uh, i.e. warming this thermometer with that and uh, resistor pack and warming this thermometer on the output with that resistor pack and you can see it's already uh, over 20, nearly 27 now okay uh, over uh, a good number of days something like maybe five there's been a, a, a COP uh, which is in the low single digits anyway that's very interesting um, uh, thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.